Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a festival vlog for you. I'm going to be going to Creamfields 2023. Creamfields is an amazing music festival. It has dance music, just everything that I absolutely love and me and my best friend are going, Beth aka Mortify her on YouTube. I'll leave her link below. Every year I do film a little vlog of going there just because I like to have the memories to look back on and if you are thinking of going to Creamfields this might give you a good idea of what it's like. First of all what I'm going to do is show you what I'm taking in my little suitcase. I'm not camping because I'm a prince Yes and so is Beth to be honest so we'd rather sleep in our own bed and we're just going for the day this year we did go to Saturday and Friday last year Saturday was too busy for us had amazing acts on but we preferred the vibes of Friday so we're going to Friday again which is totally fine with me I'm very excited I've just got my casual clothes on at the moment I will change when I get to Beth's and do my makeup obviously because I don't want to wear this I have got my Barbie vibes today I have got my little Claire's accessories Barbie chain on as well which I absolutely love so I'm going to show you what makeup and things I'm taking in my suitcase for cream fields. I have also done a separate video on what I'm taking in my cream fields festival handbag just because I thought this would be a quite interesting video if you are looking to go to a festival and you're not really sure on the rules on what you could take in or just some tips and tricks. So that is a separate video what's in my festival handbag. Let me show you what's in my suitcase now. Here is my little suitcase setup for Creamfields 2023. So I just thought I'd show you a bit about what I'm going to be taking. If you want to see what's in my everyday festival handbag, then I have done a separate video on that. This is kind of just everything that I'm taking to get ready, including outfits and things like that. So first of all, we'll start with the bags. I think I'm going to use this sparkly bum bag this year for Creamfields because it is really pretty and it does fit a lot in. As a backup, I've got my everyday bag. The funny story about this one is this is one of the bags Bags that me and Beth saw hundreds and thousands of last year. There was orange, green, pink, blue, white, black, grey, anything you could think of. And we kept seeing these bags and we were like, where are they from? And now we both have two of them, I think. I've got the white one and the pink one. But these are my bag choices. If you want to see what I'm going to pack in my festival bag, I did actually do a video with this bag here. Just on little tips and tricks to pack your festival handbag. So that will be on my channel as well. The suitcase, this is just a little Barbie water bottle that I got for Beth. So I'm going to give this to her when I see her. She really wanted a Barbie flask from the Odeon, but they sold out. We did actually go see the Barbie film together. And as you can see, this is the Barbie era. So everything pretty much in this bag is Barbie, including this little bottle for Beth. The first thing I'm going to show you is this Dove Tanning Moisturiser. I really love this for summer holidays and for festivals as well. It just gives you a gradual tan without rubbing off anywhere because it's just like a moisturiser. So it makes your skin feel really nice and it smells amazing as well. It smells like holidays. So I have put this in my bag. I have got this on as well. Down here, I've just got a couple of makeup items so this one here is a perfume dispenser as i said in my handbag video i don't recommend you take your favorite perfumes i use a dispenser just in case i lose it here i've got some lip glosses i've got some revolution ones i heart revolution and then i've got the new monsters university one these are sparkly the two on the outside the batman one and this one so i'll probably wear those two these are more like lip oils but i think i'm probably going to go with this one me and beth absolutely love the batman one it's so sparkly as you can see it's got loads of twinkles in there it is a really thick consistency which I love. I love lip glosses, I love lip oils and this one does stay on your lips for absolutely ages so I think this is going to be the go-to but I will take the others just in case. Next up for mascara I'm going to take the new Rimmel London Thrill Seeker mascara. This was very kindly gifted to me by Rimmel and I absolutely loved it. I have done a video on this so I'll be taking that. And then my all-time favourite liquid liner. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. I really love this. So I'm going to pop some wing eyeliner on today and I'll be using this. Next up for palettes i've got the brand new nyx barbie collection i absolutely love this face palette i have done videos to death on all these because i just love them so much i'm probably gonna use the highlighter in this along with a lottie london one that i've got because i think it's stunning i've obviously got blushes in here as well there's some really nice colors in here so i'll just show you now these are what the two eyeshadow palettes look like i really love the purples in this ken palette and then i really like the pink and the gold in this one so i'll probably do a combination of those and then also i've got the cotton candy Jeffree Star palette. When I bought this I was driving home with my boyfriend from Wells next to the sea and I was so excited that it came into stock on Beauty Bay. This is what this one looks like. It's got very beautiful colours in. They're very me. I have got a pink and a purple outfit option so this will do me just fine. And glitter wise I've got this so I've got the Stardust Binding Gel and then I've just got one of the Gypsy Shrine glitters. This is what it looks like. Very sparkly and I love applying these to the side of my face for nights out, New Year's and especially festivals. For makeup brush 
brushes i'm just going to bring four of my favorite makeup brushes these are the spectrum eye collection and i absolutely love these they're really good for nail polish i've just used the essie all-in-one base and top coat and then i've got this essie polish on as well i thought this was a really nice barbie pink it's in the shade lovey dovey and then i've got one of my favorite polishes of all time my boyfriend did actually pick this one for me it's a barry m glitter polish as you can see i've used absolutely loads of it but i really love it and it's really sparkly and these are what my nails look like i really like them down here we've got some glitter this is a shein body glitter i really like the look of this i'll show you what it looks like when we've got it on i normally just pop this on my chest just to give a little bit of sparkle this is the she glam glitter eyeliner i absolutely love this i highly recommend it i think it was four pounds and i've got so much use out of it but these as a combo are so cute and finally i've got the most loved joliebomb.com palette this is one of the originals the mirror smashed and everything this has traveled with me to so many festivals and events and things and as you can see it's very well loved it's basically a glitter eyeshadow palette and i absolutely swear by it so you've got every color combination you can think of i think my favorite shade ever is that one that was a silver obviously there's not much left there but we have loads of fun with this so i'm definitely taking this one with me and of course i've got my barbie makeup bag which most of this will fit in on this side of the suitcase i've got my sort of normal clothes options over here i think i'm gonna wear this to drive down i'm not camping by the way this is just a suitcase that i take with me when i go to bath's house normally just with some clothes options but as you can see we're well in the barbie era and on this side of the suitcase i've got my ticket which i'm so excited about i've got my shinning diamond hair gem machine i have done a separate video on this it's hair gems from the 90s it's so cute and then i've got one of my top options here which i really like with the butterflies as i said i've got a lilac option and i've got a pink option for today this is a butterfly top which i really like in there i've just got a couple of my cream fields lanyards which has all the set lists and everything because i thought it'd be fun for me and beth to just look through and see who we saw last time compared to who we're going to see today so yeah that's my little ticket and again if you want to see what i pack in my festival handbag i will leave that linked below once it's Live because I think I've got some quite good tips from over the years on what to not take and what to take to a festival if you're going for the day so that might be something you're interested in then please subscribe I have decided to pack a little purple rain mac just in case because it looks like we might have some rain this year at Creamfield. This is my little suitcase. It is a tiny sort of top of your suitcase trolley kind of situation. But it is perfect for weekends away. It's perfect for me. And then this is my little daily handbag. So I'm ready to go. For casual, I'm just wearing my Boohoo Barbie top and some leather look leggings. Which I absolutely love. My niece. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Outfit choices. <laughs> She's so cute. Hello everyone, so we've got ready now, we've got some, well I've got some gems in my hair, hello, this is Hi. Beth, you know who Beth is by hello. now, <laughs> more to pay here on YouTube, I'll obviously leave her link below, so we've got Thank some, you. it's okay, so we've both got the same necklace on I think haven't we, have you got the Barbie necklace on? Yeah, I've got the yeah, rest so of the Barbie, got that. cute, so we've got glitter everywhere, mm -hmm. I've got some of those bling bling gems in my hair, because why not, why the and not? I'm wearing the Jeffree Star candy, cotton candy cream palette, what are you wearing? I am wearing... Hold on. <laughs> I think I packed by the way. Who's uh, down there? Ensley Rain Cosmetics Shifty Shadow Palette. Beautiful. Pastel Perfection. I've got the pink in there, and I'm also wearing the Jeffree Star, um, the one that you've got. Yes. Um, the Cotton Candy Queen. I'll yes, show you. I might as well show you because otherwise it yeah. makes no sense. This is what it is. Hold on. Hold on. That's the one. Love it. Cute. And um, what else? I don't know. <laughs> So we've had, a, well I've had a couple of outfit changes, I didn't know what to wear. <laughs> I tried a couple of outfits on and Beth helped me pick this yeah, one. This so what we'll, one. <laughs> it's cute. Love it. So what we'll do is we'll go upstairs and just do a little outfit, what we're wearing to Creamfields 2023, as we do every year, so let's go upstairs. <laughs> we're just vlogging babes. 
Here we are, so we're ready for Creamfields 2023. Beth, what are you wearing today? I am wearing a co-ord set from Ego, got my Barbie necklace from Claire's, Shein bracelets, ignore the socks because you're not going to see them, but I'll put some <laughs> boots on, which are from ASOS, so that's me done actually. Very cute, Very you look fun. like actual Barbie, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm wearing ASOS on the top, so it's just a little butterfly top, which I really like, it's got a iridescent blue kind of turquoise kind of thing. I've got the Barbie necklace as well. And down here I've just got a little squat thing. I've got some fluffy pink frilly socks which are quite cute. Sheen. Sheen. Are they Sheen? Sheen they are. And my scrunchies Sheen as well. So yeah. Yes we're all ready. We're I've got ready. some glitter. I've got glitter everywhere. I've put glitter on as highlight actually today. I That's thought that would be quite fun. And we've got glitter all over our chest as well. Because why not? You can see it better outside <laughs> Yes and it's a nice shift on it. You can see it there. But yeah we're ready to go. I'll try not to fall down the stairs. I'm very excited, are you? I'm so Cool. Excited. So we are going to film a little bit when we're there, but obviously I'm going to live in the moment more than anything. But as normal, I'll just put some clips in of From what it's phone. like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just so in case you want to go to Greenfields and you're wondering what it's like, you'll get an idea. And so we can look back on memories, really, isn't it? So yeah, that's our outfits. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Creamfields 2023. I absolutely loved my time there with one of my best friends. It's always something that I really look forward to going to. I don't go abroad purely because I get so homesick all the time. So Creamfields is kind of like my summer holiday that I look forward to. And it went so quickly this time. I can't believe that I'm filming the video for it. Like I can't believe it's gone. The first time we looked at the clock was actually I think five past eight and we were just gobsmacked at how quick it had gone. And I think that's because we were having so much fun. I did film quite a bit less than I did normally on previous years but I think it was because I was living in the moment with Beth and I'm so happy about that to be honest the video is kind of like a diary anyway and I'm sure you'll get some kind of idea of what it's like but mostly it's for me to look back on just see the good memories so yeah I'm very happy I'm very happy that I got to use the Jeffree Star Cotton Candy Queen palette. I did say when I bought this months ago that this would be a good cream false palette and I loved it so much. I can't wait to play with it more in the future. I really loved my outfit. I loved the atmosphere. I just loved everything to be honest and we missed the rain. Thank goodness I didn't want a rainy cream fields. I did pack a Mac just in case. I didn't take it with me on the day but it is raining today so I'm filming this on the Saturday. We went on the Friday and it's throwing it down outside so I think we made the right decision decision for us. Every year when I've gone to Creamfields I have picked up one of their little lanyard memorabilia set lists which I really like. This one was from the first year that I went. This one was last year's. 
And this one was this year's. I really like this one. I like how it's got sort of a metallic, don't know if that's the right word. Someone will know what it's called, but it's very pretty on the front and it's got a really nice lanyard with it. This year, it also came with that. I forgot I had it on. It's a little bracelet, which they gave me. And the man behind the desk specifically gave me a pink one and I thanked him for it because I thought that was so cute. But basically what this does is when you're in the festival, it reacts to the music or it reacts to sound or your voice. So you can see it flashing there. But I thought that was a really cute little piece of memorabilia because it's got the Creamfields logo on it and I just like stuff like that. I have a thing where I remember things better with either photos or with a little thing. I also got this at the Sheen stand which I'm so happy about. Last year there was a NYX and a Sheen stand. We went to the NYX stand and we won a, I think I won an eye crayon and Beth won a lipstick. This year we went to the Sheen one and they had a similar thing. I will pop a little video in and a couple of photos. So we did have to catch balls obviously. <laughs> Me and Beth like pink magpies we just went for the pink ones but apparently now I've seen on Instagram you were meant to catch the gold ones that means you can win clothes and things but I won this well we got to pick what we won we could pick between a hat sunglasses and a little phone charm I thought this one was so cute and it's a really nice sort of little piece of memorabilia so I really like that I'm probably gonna hang it on my filming drawers just because it looks really cute and the girl said it went well with my outfit so I was really happy to have this and I thought it was really cute overall I had an amazing time with my sister my best friend beth aka morsefay here on youtube at creamfields 2023 she's amazing i will leave her link below to go and check her channel out if you haven't already she makes amazing beauty and makeup videos so please go check that out i can't wait to make more memories with loved ones this year i think that's my ultimate goal for the year to be honest just to live in the moment and make memories anyway i really love the experience i am in lazy clothes today because after wearing tight clothing there's nothing that feels better than putting on the baggiest t shirt and leggings and just laying around like a potato. That's the best feeling. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you are looking to go to a festival or cream fields, I hope it's given you a little bit of an idea of what it might be like when you get there. I have done a what's in my festival bag video so that will be on my channel as well very soon. Please subscribe. I do upload three times a week. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to see more. That's at Zoe Glitter Zoe with a Y and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!